sturdy lad. Ray, I'll be with you. The sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink at this tavern. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait, head in the yard then. Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself, and brings shame on his clan. Your da's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorin, or I'll tuck you in me da barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Ker Trolda, and we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Hi, Geralt. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Blaith. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg, near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely. So we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mick Yell, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do as much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us and it's yours. Gotta say I like you, Yorand. But business is business. I'll need more than that. Grand. Let's call it that. Shake on it. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. What to be said. Fight a 
Witcher. Your mom's got you out! Now the grave will take you back! Fucking witchcraft! Get it find cover. Almost. Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyol, the Lightkeeper? Jorand from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when- No, here's. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Pulled it back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel. Miguel. I look out. There's the ray. Big bugger. Bigger than the rest. And cold flowing from it. Such cold the windows frosted o'er. This wraith. The big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Didn't help much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse, you know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something.
Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikyol's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. A letter. Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. You. It's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this.
Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... I understand. Geralt? I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Long story short, you'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes, got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Emma again! Got a taste for Skellige mead, Vigra? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off! I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Relax, Joran. It's just banter. Weak, but still. Nay. We're serious. Dead serious. And foolish as colts that graze on hemlock. But I'll put you straight. Leave them bots! Come here! We have a brawl! I won't let this go. You're right. So many raids, wars, duels, only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. Stay calm. Get you a healer. No point. Pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood or too long. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant, son of Sigvald. Who lived honorable and died like a fool. What about him? Speak, damn it. They're dead. At some foreigner's hand. Come on. Had but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. You lie. You saw who started it. Had to. I'd sooner believe one of our own. Men who know what honor is. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. 
Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman? That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to get leapt during trial. This one's waited a year. That one? Three. But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, I. Right. Uh, come on. My line dates back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gotta die. I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. You invited me to your lands, Lugos. Said I'd find work here. Hey, Killing monsters, not men. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you see to that? Fought to defend myself, and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Huh? Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Earl. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find ye guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. You know I don't have that kind of coin. Unless those boys were a lot lighter than they looked. I'm well aware of that. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law! I make the laws here. Go home, Leif. Cause if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Why the theatrics? If you wanted to hire a Witcher, should have just said so. Would have been cheaper. Tell me, Witcher. Have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt. A debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his meddle. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Yeah. <laughs> 